Greetings folks, time for the maiden of the Phoenix S 1600mm wingspan ready to fly version with the 5 channel radio with the 18650 2S battery let's turn the radio on that's on, let's plug the battery in I'm a bit concerned about how much juice you can draw from this battery uh, but I do have a 2S LiPo we can switch to if it's a bit too um, sags too much. Now on the radio we have no assist, partial assist and full assist so I guess that's manual stabilised and even more stabilised. Let's check our throws first. In manual that's correct. Elevator is correct and rudder is correct. Check the direction of stabilisation. So we're in stabilised mode now so the add-on should come up if I tilt to the left, that's good. Elevator should come up, yeah, so that's stabilizing in the correct direction, so we're pretty ready to go. I'm going to start in manual mode and then we'll switch to stabilize once we get up in the air. Also, need to check the center of gravity. We have some marks on here, balancing right on the marks. Okay, let's go. Manual mode. Now first we need to raise the throttle and go back down again to arm it. And there we go, that's flying. I'm backing off the throttle now. Bit of wind around, but that's flying perfectly well, just like a Phoenix should. I thought on the bench the, the uh, radio looked pretty notchy, as in not very smooth proportional control, but um, that seems to be flying quite well in the air. I'm happy with that. No dramas at all. I'll be looking out for a range if I run out of uh, range, because I don't know this radio at all. Seems to be going perfectly well. The radio feels quite nice in my hands. Flying on manual, no trouble at all. That's three quarters throttle. Seems to have plenty of punch, this uh, lithium ion battery. Right, so let's try some stabilised. I'll hit around that way. Stabilised now, hands off. Seems to be drifting to the left. Self-leveling in this mode. I think the rudder needs adjusting somehow. That's going pretty well now. So that's even more stabilised now. Definitely rudder is pushing it over to the left. But certainly self-leveling. Yeah, it's quite easy to fly in stabilised mode. It's very stabilised. Let's try the uh, panic mode. Let's get up high, get it all out of whack. We're in manual mode now. Inverted and hit stabilised and yeah, levels it, gets you out of trouble. So that's that would be good for a be beginner, I guess. to be sorting itself out now. I like flying it in, in manual. It is, it's a very stable plane anyway, so it really doesn't need the stabilised mode. So that's the stabilised mode now. You can reset the level position. Um, instructions are in the manual. You sort of do something with the sticks, I think, when, you, when you've armed it. But uh, actually, there's, there's not a lot wrong with this. Props a bit out of balance at the moment. I prefer flying in manual mode, but you know, I am pretty experienced, so an absolute beginner. 
might enjoy uh, stabilized mode. It isn't sort of an angle stabilized mode where you have to hold the stick out to the side when you're turning. You don't sort of bank and then go back to the center. So it would teach you some bad habits flying in stabilized mode all the time, but it, it would get you flying, I guess. I was quite prepared not to like this at all, but it's it's not too bad. I would still prefer my own radio system. Um, and my advice would be the plug and play version, not the ready to fly. Buy a cheap radio like a Flysky FSI-6 or something like that. And um, you'll have much more range and you'll be able to program up some mixes as well. And really I think it, it doesn't really need stabilised mode. It's just for sort of um, learning to fly when you've got no one to help you really. Which I suppose is what happens a fair bit. Let's glide for a bit now. Glides beautifully. Yeah, it's a good little sort of beginner thermal plane this one. Let's get up a bit higher. Glide down. There's quite enough punch out of the lithium-ion battery I have to say. There we're gliding. Yeah, it's just a nice plane to glide. On the thermally day you'd, you'd have no problems catching thermals. Yeah, it's wanting to hang up there. Still gliding. Look at that, beautiful. So with this battery, I guess it's not going to be a super aerobatic plane, uh, but I'm pretty sure you can still do loops. Yeah, no dramas. Rolls, sort of. You don't have the ultimate um, top-end grunt of a, a LiPo, I guess, because uh, lithium-ion batteries are sort of current limited, more current limited than LiPos. But for a glider, perfectly all right. It's landed on stabilised setting. Kind of feels weird to me. I like to be in full control, but that's... Kind of works. Yeah, very good. So overall, uh, it's a gorgeous plane. I love this little little plane. It's just a perfect little motor glider, uh, entry level thermal glider. Good for flying around, just having fun. The radio, the ready to fly radio. I was quite prepared not to like it, but it actually works fine. It's no dramas really. Works absolutely fine on manual. Stabilised if you need it is uh, is useful. But as I said, I re I'd recommend you buy the uh, plug and play version and add a, a decent radio. I don't think you need stabilization with this. It's a stable plane by itself. Uh, but yeah, not too bad.